Greetings, so this is not the video that I had planned to release today. In fact, I had planned to release an install video, but I'm having a little bit of a back and forth with the manufacturer, trying to work out a few details. So, I, I mean, I have the footage there, I could have released it, but I didn't really feel comfortable doing so, just until I've got everything ironed out. I want the things I'm saying in that video to be accurate, and I don't want to give any kind of um, misleading opinions or anything, so I just want to get everything worked out before I release that. It is something that I've actually had on the car for a while. Eagle-eyed viewers who've been watching my stuff for a long time will possibly have seen what I'm talking about already. So today, instead of that, um, we have this little video and I want to talk about launch control and different drive modes. So launch control, all the launch controls I've done so far, whenever I thought about launch control, I kind of thought to myself, well, launch control is just launch control no matter what driving mode you're in. And typically I just sit in sports, so I figure sport, well, all the computers, everything is going to work out all of that launch the same and optimize it, blah, 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 and it's all going to be good. And one experience that I had when doing launch controls was I was getting a bit wiggly in the steering. Um, initially just getting off the line it was like it was pushing you forward because obviously it's you know you have your all-wheel drive system pushing you from behind but you're also driving the front wheels as well and it was getting a bit wriggly I kind of just thought it was that that was a mixture of well, the, just the nature of it and also perhaps I was doing it in maybe less than ideal conditions blah 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 um, but then one day I thought well I'm gonna I'm gonna give track mode a little go. So I put it, I put it in track mode and I did a launch, and it was actually quite different. So I should probably start off this little bit by actually doing it to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. So if I find a little spot here, settings, driver assist, launch control. So first gear. First gear, slam it. So it wasn't so bad. I mean, there was a little bit of a wriggle there. But it wasn't terrible, it wasn't terrible. And that is in sport mode. Okay, so we'll switch it over to track mode. And this, of course, will do a couple of different things. Back in the settings, driver assist, launch control. So, hopefully you can see it on this little camera, maybe this camera too. In track mode, straight as a brush, it just did not wriggle at all. So the way I kind of rationalize this in my head is, Track mode does a couple of things specifically. I mean, well, one thing it does is it plays with the all-wheel drive system, and that could indeed make a bit of a difference, maybe. I think the main thing in track mode that changes to help launches is the sport suspension mode. It turns that straight on. I believe that gives 40% stiffer um, dampers. So that, I think is the most significant thing because if you think about it, whenever you do a launch or any kind of mega aggressive gear change where you slam a lot of power in immediately, what's happening is the car kind of goes, or sort of tips backwards, it sort of goes, whoa, whoa. And whenever you do that, you're unloading those front wheels. So what we're talking Whenever I say you're unloading the front wheels, we're talking a, a, a bit, you know, it's not like, you know, it's not like your, you know, your wheels are in the air, it's just, it, but it, it, it is happening a bit, it's pushing back, it's angling you backwards slightly. So that, even that small amount of unloading the front wheels, I think is causing a little bit of extra slip in the front wheels that are being driven. So whenever you switch to track mode and you get that sport suspension setting turned on, that's, those stiffer dampers mean that you're not going to be creating as much of a lean back. You're not, you're not getting as much of that angle, so you're not getting as much unloading of the front wheels. So therefore, you're less likely to get that extra slip and you're able to get straight on and get on it more. Um, of course, 
If you're in sport mode, you can hit the little button on the end of the left hand stock and turn on sport suspension. So maybe that is a potential other option. The other thing that you do get whenever you go into track mode is um, ESC off, which again, in sport mode, you can do that. You can do a lot of things just pressing various buttons in various different modes. Obviously going into track mode just does it all for you immediately and that's handy. So I guess I could test that theory and do a third and final launch control of the day. Don't want to burn my clutch into smithereens, but you know. So let's see if I go, I'm in track mode still, so I go back to sport mode. So that's us back in with normal suspension. So I press my little stock and I get my sport suspension setting. Which is going to be lovely hitting the speed bump that I see here. So now we're ready to check and see whether this indeed makes a difference, the same sort of level of difference in terms of wiggliness that we get in track mode. So down to settings, driver assist, launch control. definitely improved over just sport mode, vanilla sport mode. There was a little bit of sideways, a little bit, a little bit. Not quite as straight as we were getting in track mode, but certainly an improvement. It was kind of maybe 50-50, straight up the middle improvement. So, yeah. So, so there is potentially something else. Maybe, maybe it was just me, maybe just... It was just me and my feet. But I definitely think sports suspension is the way forward. And realistically, I think the best thing to do is track mode if you want the ultimate launch. So yeah, that's all the launches I'm going to do today. I uh, don't want to burn my clutch into smithereens like I was saying before. Um, so yeah, that's, it's an interesting little topic actually, um, the drive modes, and there is there's a lot of talk on the, about drive modes on the internet, various forums everywhere, um, about like, you know, the fifth drive mode, all this various different things. Um, it's an interesting topic and it's a really cool feature to have and to play with. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this little video, this little chat. I will have more coming at you very, very soon, so make sure you are subscribed for that. Like and share this video if you want to as well, that would be lovely. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.